Hi viewers, uh, this is Dr. Gunamani Jana and you are watching video with me on network troubleshooting. In part 1, we discussed about the fundamentals and the basic commands to check the networking for pinging etc. In this video, we will be covering how to connect from one PC to another PC uh, that is uh, in the same network. Okay? and we will be using remote desktop. Uh, the condition is that both the machines shall be in the same network or in the same Wi-Fi also. If it is in the same Wi-Fi also it is possible. And we need to know uh, the minimum things for both the systems, what is the system name, uh, what is the user name, what is the IP address and what is the password. So these are the things you need to know about the systems. Once you know all the things, where to know and how to know, then we can go for uh, the other part of the things. First of all, while you are going for uh, this type of network uh, things, we should see that uh, the firewall as well as the antivirus is disabled. How to uh, disable? If you sit here in the desktop in the right hand side the, uh, corner, you are having show hidden icons. You click on the show hidden icons. In the show hidden icons, can you see uh, something like that? You are having the Windows security and the all the recommendations, etc. That you click it here. Once you click it here, you can now clearly see uh, the virus threat protection it is appearing in front of you. Just double click there, double click here and you can find everything it is coming here. Okay, fine. Then, uh, then what you need to do, uh, we just minimize all things. You have to check it that, uh, yeah, I go for this one then renew Microsoft Defender antivirus options also. Everything we have to disable now, okay, current threads. So the antivirus as well as the uh, the firewall because the uh, window defender will be there by default, you have to switch up all things, right. So um, if you want, I can check it here and uh, current threads protection etc. is there. So once it is over, once you have disabled all the things, then um, you go for the uh, system details. For the system details, what you need to do, uh, you, you go to the, this one, the Gijana PC, the my computer, whatever things are there, name there, there here, right click and you go for this, uh, the properties. In the properties also, you can check it, uh, all the details here. Um, you can see all the properties is coming, uh, the device name or computer name is Gijana PC and uh, all the all the details you can see it here. You can, you can see it here and we are having a 64 bit operating system and i5 uh, so 2.29 gigahertz all the details uh, all the things it has given there okay and i am using this windows 10 pro also and you see that minimum that is there okay all the, the all the details you can see it here right so similarly uh, if you want to uh, see also you can go for this right sorry the right click here and you go to the manage also in this manage uh, you can have the uh, users Mm, you can the local users and group. You see here. The local users you click it and you go to the users. In the users you can see uh, the user. So my your user is user and full name it is given Gunamani and you can reset set the password for that also. Uh, I know the username and also the password for my system I know. Okay. My username is user. You can see it here the username it is given here in user. It is the administrative user and the password I have given. Uh, that is this is not the password. My password I already I, there. You can. Uh, uh, get your password, what you have uh, uh, put it at the time of installation, these are things, minimum things should be there. Similarly, for the groups also, if you want to know the group name also, uh, for the users, what is the group also, you can check it there, also you can find the groups, everything, right. So, uh, now, uh, you have uh, the username and if you want to know the IP address of the system also, uh, just you go to the CMD, in the CMD command you type it here, then just type IP config, IP con Config, IP config one you are typing it here and enter you can find the IP address of the system is 192.168.0.114 uh, okay and subnet mask you are having 255.255.255 because it is class A I am using right and the gateway 192.168.0.1 so these are the minimum things you should know and uh, here also you can get it uh, other details all, all the details you can get it here if you want to on other details also if config space slash all, you can put it here and you get all the details here also. Uh, A to Z everything what you need, you can, the, this is the 
host name it is gjana hyphen pc and you uh, know uh, even if the physical address you can get it here and you can uh, have the ip address 192.168.0.1 the preferred it there and subnet mask is there uh, even if the uh, dcp uh, dhcp is also there uh, dns server is there also all the things is 8.8 0.4.4 and 8.8.8.8. .8 so all the things you can get it here. Fine. So up to this now uh, you got everything what you wanted uh, from the system. Okay. So in this uh, thing, uh, then you have to go for the uh, remote uh, desktop setting. Okay. So in the remote desktop setting, what you do? Type it here. Remote. You go for remote uh, desktop setting. Remote uh, desk uh, top uh, setting. Okay. While you go for the remote desktop, so you can, can you see here the remote desktop setting here? Uh, you once you click it here, you will have the remote desktop setting uh, things it is appearing here like this. Initially, uh, the remote desktop will be up. It will be there. Disable. It is confirmed. It was disabled. It was up here like this. Okay. Initially, it will be showing like this. Then you have to enable the remote desktop for uh, for for uh, uh, disabling all the thing. Enabling. You put it like this and put a confirmation here, and it is coming. Uh, you can see enable remote desktop uh, all the things will be there. Okay? So, if you go for the advanced setting also you can go for all the details you will find it there also but it is not required for you now at this stage. Fine. Now, uh, you have done all the things and everything is ready for that thing. Okay? Now, what the next you are going to do? Uh, that means, your system uh, you have enabled the remote desktop that is the first thing. Uh, the first thing you have disabled all the firewall and the disabled all the antivirus. Second thing uh, you have uh, um, gone for this enabling the remote desktop, this is the thing you have done and in the meantime you collected uh, the details of all the systems like the system name, I have given you the, what is the system name, uh, then I have given you uh, gjana pc I have given you and username I have given user, and my user password I have given we are 2020 like that and my IP address I have given 192.168.0.105, okay, these are the things I have already given to you. Okay, or something like that. What the, you collect it? What are the IP address? Uh, you you collect it. That not issue. So once it is over, then your system is ready. It's clear. If then what you need to do? Then immediately you go to the next system. In the next system, because at a time I cannot connect both the systems, I am going for the first system. Uh, in the next system, that means I am going to uh, connect. Uh, that is uh, Windows 2007 another PC there. There, what you need to do? First, you go to here and click it here and go to the computer. Okay, you click it here, uh, the Windows, um, uh, the static is there. Then you go to the computer. In the computer, you go for the uh, right click. On the right click, you can see the property. So once you see the property, uh, in the property, you uh, you go for uh, these things, advanced. Okay, you go for the uh, there, and here uh, you click the remote setting. Why they are going for the remote setting? Uh, then remote setting you can find all the things, uh, you can have the remote desktop, in the re remote desktop can you see three points are there, one is the uh, uh, what you are given do not uh, allow uh, connections to the computer that is first one, then allow the computers to any users or any version the, that is the middle point that you select it here after selecting okay after selecting you go for the select users, once you uh, go for the select user once you click in the select user. Okay, then it is coming, uh, the, the user city is coming it here. Then what you do, then click the add button here, click the add button here. Once you clicking the add button, next it is coming, uh, this thing it is coming here. So you can see it here, once you click this add button, it is coming, uh, all the things it is coming here. Now you can go for the advance. If you are going for this advance, you get it now, if you are clicking this advance, then the entire user whatever things are it is uh, uh, it will be appearing like this then immediately after that you have to click this add button once you click this add button here so it is coming like this anyway this is the things already have done then after that you just go for the select user after the selecting user you selected all the things and uh, uh, add it here and uh, put it okay okay once you go for that one the it will come here like this then uh, you go for this advance so once you click this advance button then it will appear like this in front of you yeah, just then you select all the things, how many users are there, this one, that one, uh, shift here and uh, just you know, after shifting you click the last one, you select everything. Once you have selected all the things like this, then you uh, then you press OK. Once you press OK, it will appear, all the users, it will appear like this, then press OK. 
uh, then click okay okay like that okay okay uh, okay uh, then everything is completed two or three times you have to press okay okay then what you need to do you have to go for the remote uh, desktop configuration so here here you have to type a remote desktop connections like that what i am remote desktop setting is a remote desktop connection is there once you go this is you are doing in the second second machine the first machine what you have done just you enabled just you enabled the um, uh, things rdb remote desktop uh, all the things settings the second machine now we are working you have done all the things in the second machine uh, in the second machine uh, now i am typing remote uh, uh, remote desktop connections when you place this remote desktop desktop connections it will come like this remote desktop connections then what is the ip address of this first system first system means from this system where i am working i already shown you it is 192.168.0.114 0.114 okay so what is that 192.168.0.114 uh, uh, so the same thing you put it here and uh, uh, press connect after connecting it will ask you the username by default it is user already you have given it will ask the password my password i have given we are team at the rate 2020 just to press and press it okay once you press it okay uh, it will now it will connect it will show you and it will go into the uh, system that means this is the first system the screen what you see this is the first system and this i am connecting from the second system okay you get it now so this is all about to uh, our connection to these things again i will be summarizing all the things uh, what what you have done till now so uh, first of all what i want to say you yeah so let me uh, yeah let me yeah one minute so what you have done first of all uh, we have to disable the firewall and we have to disable the antivirus for disable on the firewall and antivirus what you need to do you come here and you click it here you can click it here can you see it here window security once you click it here it will ask you whatever things you have to you just virus threat and all things you you select and all things you disable it there okay so for this disabling also uh, there is another option also uh, Uh, you can even if you can type it here the also the virus the virus threat and protection virus threat virus threat and threat and protection if you see the same thing it is coming here because already i have done and mine uh, this no quick heal it is already within two or three days it is going to expire it is asking for renew but uh, it is already there it is there okay uh, anti virus option also it is there if you check it here uh, here also you can Uh, scanning everything i made it up okay three things you have to make it up it will show you uh, it will be on position and you have to make it up make it up make it up okay three things you have to go for that one so once it is over then immediately you are going for the um, you have to go for enabling the um, i already told you you have to uh, enable uh, the uh, rd uh, remote desktop uh, um, settings you have to uh, go for that one okay for that what i have done for that what i have done uh, you you have to just uh, go for the uh, remote uh, desktop uh, type it here okay remote uh, remote desktop setting remote desktop uh, is connection is there you write re remote remote desktop uh, desktop settings okay the remote desktop setting you can check it here Uh, you may, here you made it on. Okay, after making making it on, then you uh, you you have to now your things are ready. In this uh, in this system everything is ready. So then you go to the second system. In the second system, just you there also you have to do the same thing. Um, the right click the property, then go to the remote setting. Allow connections to any person. So what you have done here the same thing you do it there. Then you you have to select the uh, user also because uh, then. Uh, then go for add then go for the advanced what you have done here something you are going it there and find the, uh, now then select all uh, all the things what i have done and in before that i told you that you must know uh, what is the username what is the password what is the ip address of all these things you, you must know okay once everything is done and once everything is completed and what the procedure i have given you then immediately what you have to go for in the second system go for the remote desktop connection click it here here just you type it remote desktop connections you put it here uh, remote Uh, type it remote 
uh, desktop connections. The remote desktop connections, so once you put it here, then it will be asking like this, then I am going for uh, that PC there, okay. So, suppose I go for connecting there, so here it may refuse, I do not know it will show or not, but you can also, it is showing because it is already connected, it is not, not uh, allowing you to do, okay. So, this is the procedure for doing all things and if you really like this video, please do share with your friends and also do not forget to subscribe. In the second part, we will be uh, giving another way. Uh, using this Hyper-V, how can also uh, we can uh, create virtual machines, okay? Uh, that is the thing. Thank you for watching this video. Please take care of health. Have a good day. Goodbye.